Welcome to Favstar's Modern Warfare 3 Equipment Guide. In today's episode, the Signal Jammer. In Call of Duty, full-on aggression is a dangerous business. Campers armed with proximity-activated lethal equipment are potentially lying in wait around every corner, ready to end your streak. The Signal Jammer is a piece of gear built for rushers, providing a warning and a potentially life-saving disruption to enemy lethal equipment. However, most of us have no idea how it works. In today's video, I'll clear up all the confusion and reveal exactly how the Signal Jammer protects you from enemy equipment, helping you decide if it's worth using in your rushing class loadout. The in-game description states that the Signal Jammer emits a signal disrupting enemy claymores and mines and warns of nearby enemy equipment. We'll begin by analyzing the Signal Jammer's warning capabilities. Within 12 meters of enemy equipment, the Signal Jammer will produce a series of audible beeps which will increase in frequency as you get closer to the source. This warning signal will function through walls and will be the exact same intensity even without a direct line of sight. It's worth mentioning that the sound effect is non-directional. As a result, pinpointing the location of enemy equipment won't be possible by sound alone. Several items across all categories of equipment will produce this warning. In the tactical equipment category, the scatter mine which slows enemy movement will produce the warning out to a radius of 12 meters. For lethal equipment, the claymore, the proximity mine, and the C4 explosive will all produce the warning. In the field upgrade category, we have some very interesting results. Almost all deployable items will produce the warning. The trophy system, portable radar, ammo and med crates, the ACS, the comm scrambler, and even the deployable cover will all produce the audible warning. The tactical camera is an outlier, and even though it's a deployable electronic device, it doesn't produce any warning signal and won't be countered in any way by the signal jammer. The remaining field upgrades are deemed undetectable and as a result won't produce any audio warning. In addition to the audible warning, the signal jammer will also disrupt the operation of enemy trigger-activated explosives by delaying the time between the trigger and the explosion. As a result, triggering a proximity mine with the signal jammer equipped will be easily survivable even when only moving at walking speed. Claymore explosions will also be delayed and will allow safe passage through an armed claymore without taking any damage. The signal jammer also counters the scatter mine, which is a piece of tactical equipment which hampers movement. The activation delay provided by the signal jammer will allow safe passage through the minefield without any reduction in movement speed. Unfortunately, no additional equipment is countered by the signal jammer. The suppression mine which inhibits movement activates in the exact same fashion regardless of whether or not you have the signal jammer equipped. And although the cluster mine, which is one of the most difficult to spot and powerful killstreaks in the game, does produce the audible warning, however its triggered explosive isn't delayed by the signal jammer. The signal jammer's warning tones, while somewhat useful in very specific situations, are more often than not a hindrance than a benefit. Since so many innocuous items trigger the warning sound, you'll never really know when you're truly in danger. Delaying the trigger of all proximity activated devices, including the suppression mine and the cluster mine, while only producing the audible warning for items which can be countered, would make the signal jammer much simpler to understand and also much more viable. Of course, this is only one man's opinion. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.